Now first, second, third, fourth, boom, reverse. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay dead center of the machine, but as you can see, as you that is it. That's it. Yep. Yes. I can't believe this shit gonna fit. Original trans, man. And I just added to it. It was pretty close. It was only off by a little. Only off by a little, so I added that thick old piece of steel. It just made a platform literally about two inches in front of the old one now will it hold up who knows y'all see that behind me y'all see that back there we did we did that right here in the yard I didn't use no fancy tools. I didn't have no fancy garage. I didn't even have no fancy build. There's the building right there. It's just as janky as the tripod I made. We did it. It's in there. We're done. Well, nah, I'm joking. We're not done. But it's definitely in there. It's the world's first. If you don't like that I'm saying it's the world's first, send me a picture of the one who did it before me. If I don't look at me, look at me dead in my eye, look at me. If you don't send me any proof, then I'm not going to believe you. Because see, that's my proof right there. You can see it. But you saying you once saw one at a car show, that don't mean much to me. I once had seen one. You know, there's a lot of people that don't know the difference between the 302 and the 351. You got to look right there at the can. Like where the uh, distributor goes, you got to look right there. 302 and uh, 351 got different. Uh, sizes right there in the valley so some people don't even know the difference so if you got a three if you seen someone a 351 and they can close their hood send me the picture on instagram swedish snake but it don't count if they don't close their hood because any fool can take the hood off of the car and then shove a giant motor in it and say oh i swear no 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 it's in the car it's low enough to close the hood even with the high ram look at where the exhaust runner is it's literally on the second runner so it's got a good balance to it by accident by being set back real far i can still see my transmission bolts that wiring harness one right there you see, yeah you see that you can see the transmission bolts like i could probably hit it with a hammer harder and get it further back i could probably get it further back but we not, but I'm gonna close this hood because that brings me joy, the fact that I could just do that. I need hood pins that lock, now, along with motor mounts that I put in it. I have the trans mount too. And along with trans mount, I did some power mods where I put a ladder bar in it. So yeah, man. We making some progress. I don't know if you guys know, but um, I have a half dash. The car is gutted. Like those little pieces of wood, some floor, like there's no carpet. Look, you see the wire, how the wire, look, that's my wire harness. When I tell you my wire harness ain't big. That's it right there, dog. That goes to the whole chassis. You can see it right there on that coming out of the plastic right there on that hump that is my whole chassis wiring harness i need to cut some stuff up there too like i see some wires hanging right y'all see the wires hanging right there yeah those wires gotta go these wires and the kicker the wires right there on that that's gotta go and that's about it i need to take that out some of the seat belt stuff for the back they got, they take torques a bit. It ain't easy to get them off, brother. They done, they done thread locked them in. Yeah, that one's already locked. So yeah, this, this is it. We, we over the hill. We coming downhill now. We're coming downhill. And I did it all in my yard. I'm 
trying to inspire you to go ahead and do what you're gonna do. Just don't th stop thinking too hard and start making forward progress because I mean I did like I said I did it in my backyard. My backyard ain't even that level, bro. It's not that level. It slopes down a little bit, even though it's higher up in the front because I made it that way, but the dirt, the ground, the earth, it's, it slopes that way just a little bit. No fancy garage, no fancy tools, no fancy building, nothing ended up fancy. I was just determined to do it and I did a little bit every day. I have two cherry pickers, I have two jacks, I have an engine stand, and this is like my work area. Those two tables, and then that table right there. That's like a bone yard for parts and scrap metal. And then there's another little table there. And don't worry about my smokers. <laughs> I, 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 when you're working out here in the sun, you need to eat good because you, you had a calorie deficit. You get, get dehydrated real quick. But anyway, it, the, the, like I said, this is the, the look how look how far in that goes, bro. That's like 45 pounds of wire. No wire. All. Volvo. Oh, Volvo. So, yeah, like two thirds of that barrel are full of wires. And I took the wires, and, and that's after I, I took the whole harness out, and then I started gutting the harness because I needed to use them wires. That's part of saving money. You don't go buy more wire, you use everything you can. So, I used <laughs> that wire to make that harness. And, I, and that harness in the back, I, I cut it. Cause I knew where it was going, so I, I left a little bit of it, not a lot, but I left a little bit of it so I could splice into it. But yeah, this is it guys. I just, you know, I'm not trying to take too long. I'm just trying to show you what I use to do it. You know, and, th and that's it. These are, these are the tools. These are dang mess. That's probably more expensive than the tools right there. You see that? You see this? This is NICs. Can anybody read that? Can anybody read that? Mm-hmm. Yep, you can't read it unless you're from another country. But I'm telling you, that's copper infused. Um, Anti-seize and bro, that is some high dollar stuff right there. It's, it's made for extreme temperatures. So if you're real scared that your stud is gonna get stuck on, you use that, you ain't gotta worry about it. Jack stands, I got like six seven jack stands tire chalks just, that's just rubber I'll shove under my tire as like it's a tire chalk like I said this is a bone yard it's got some old parts and metal that I'm going to use in uh, future projects this is the rest of the exhaust pieces that I have cut up that I'm going to use to get me to where I got to go I'm just waiting for my flex joints in my 90s but yeah guys that's I don't want to make it too long a video, but that's it. World's first 351 Windsor sleeper. If you got a 351 Windsor, it probably ain't a sleeper. If it is, show it to me. Because the whole time I've been doing this build, I've been looking online for other people with 351 Windsors. And I could not find any. So, like I said, Swedish snake, Swedish underscore snake. If you've seen a 351 Windsor Volvo, 240 or 940 or 740 or whatever send me the picture because like I said I've been looking high and low can't find one couldn't find information and the only information I got on 351 Windsor was a whole bunch of Volvo people telling me not to do it because it's going to be too hard too big it won't fit and I understand why they said it because it was hard it is big and it doesn't want to fit you are have to do some K member stuff and two I have member Two and a half inch drop on your K member is a large drop. Most people don't want to do that. So, yeah, man. I can't wait to get on the road again. It's going to be awesome. Going to be awesome.